Hey guys, uh, welcome to Terrace 37. Today I'm reviewing this, which is the 4 Ragnarok Funko Pop 252 uh, GameStop exclusive Surtar. So yeah, this is really cool. So I was really blessed. I went to GameStop Day and they had two of these. And you know, Surtar, he's kind of been a bit more rare. Rarer than most GameStop exclusives. So, you know, really cool to get him. Nice clear view on the packaging. We got Pop, you know, Funko, basic stuff. Nice image over here. Cool here. The top looks nice. And we have the back, which looks cool as well. And here we have Surtar. So yeah, this guy is really cool looking. And I will warn you one thing, his sword, be careful with this because I bought two of these. And uh, the first one, which I'd already pre-opened for review, uh, that fell off my table and it snapped. I'm gonna hot glue it back on. But yeah, really be careful of this because one fall and this thing might break. So yeah, but um, does definitely look cool. You got the creepy looking mask there. And you know, you got the red, uh, reddish flames up here, the orange shred. Looks cool. And then they actually printed like his bones. They're like printed bones on the design of the body. And to be honest, I think it looks cool. You know, Surtar was actually one of my uh, favorite parts of 4 Ragnarok. You know, I love the opening fight with him in 4. I think it's one of the best fights in the MCU. So really cool that they made him. I do wish he would have been bigger because I feel that this guy should be bigger. Like, here's a size comparison with him and 4. Like, I mean, he is pretty big, I'll admit. But, you know, just, like, he was a lot bigger than 4 was in the movie. And that was before he gets, like, really big. Like, I don't want to spoil it or anything. But, yeah, like, I mean, he was still pretty big. And, you know, he is tall here. When you compare him to 4, he's actually a lot bigger. But still, I mean, I feel he could be a lot taller. But overall, I am happy with the size. Uh, again, I do think he should be bigger, but for the most part, I think he looks really cool. My favorite thing about this guy is they, like, they did him in orange translucent plastic, like, all over his body. And, like, I don't know if you can see it very well, but if you hold this guy up to the light, he just looks really cool. And I'm, I've got a flash on my camera, so I'm hoping it's showing it off well. But, yeah, he just looks amazing when you hold him to the light. And I really do think that Funko did a great job with this one. If you can get your hands on it, I totally recommend picking it up. It's one of the coolest pops they did for Ragnarok and yeah I wish it was one that had a bit more easy availability because it really is an awesome one and I love the detailing on the hands and the sword is really nicely detailed as well and uh, as is all the fire I think they just did a really nice job with the detail and the paint really cool really awesome looking and I totally recommend this thank you for watching please rate like and subscribe